there are more calls tonight for Manitoba's premier to step down. On Tuesday, Brian Pallister apologized for comments he made almost a month ago after two statues were toppled by protesters at the Manitoba legislature. But as CTV's Mike Arsenault reports, some say the apology is too little too late and they're calling for his resignation. Uh, I do apologize for the misunderstanding I caused. In Tuesday's public health update, Premier Brian Pallister was asked about comments he made in July after protesters toppled two statues on the ledge grounds during a protest over the deaths of Indigenous children at residential schools. Pallister suggested the settlers came to Canada to build and not destroy things. Yeah, I feel awful about the reaction and the misunderstanding I created with my comments. Many Indigenous leaders say his comments were revisionist and downplayed the harmful effects of colonialism. Grand Chief of the Southern Chiefs Organization, Jerry Daniels, doesn't think the Premier offered much of an apology. We don't think that Pallister has the ability or capability, and I'm, not, I'm unsure even people in this cabinet having the capability of being able to move in a, in a direction of reconciliation. Daniels says he would like to see Pallister resign. In a statement to CTV News, Manitoba Kiwatanawi Okimakanuk Grand Chief Garrison Seti says, For weeks, Indigenous leaders have been calling for the resignation as well as an apology from Premier Brian Pallister in response to the untrue statements he made about the intentions behind residential schools. I'm not sure that yesterday's supposed apology goes far enough. The damage has already been done, and the Premier continues to make it clear he isn't interested in advancing reconciliation. Minister of Indigenous Reconciliation and Northern Relations Alan Lajamodier was also in hot water last month when he tried to defend the intentions behind residential schools. Now he's saying they were a part of genocide. We need to move forward acknowledging how deeply wrong some of the decisions made by our uh, past leaders were, and we, we need to acknowledge the impacts that those decisions have. Daniels is pleased with the minister's new perspective. So we're quite happy to see that his language has shifted to recognize the genocide that has taken place in Manitoba. A shift he'd like to see in the premier's language and actions moving forward. Mike Arsenault, CTV News, Winnipeg. And Pallister says his initial comments were intended to unite Manitobans. Moving forward, he's hoping for forgiveness and understanding.